Hey, how's it going? JJ the tech guy here. Uh, my Slage lock uh, stopped working. Uh, it's one of the locks that, uh, let me see if I can get this real quick, it has a plus sign on it uh, right there. Uh, supposedly you could actually go ahead and rekey these yourselves. Apparently these locks actually uh, turned out to be pretty bad. Um, so they had like, a, they, they stopped making them. So what you have to do if you have a lock like this, you just call Sledge, uh, you let them know the model number uh, around when you actually installed it. Uh, and what they're going to do is they're going to actually go ahead and send you a replacement uh, debt bolt. And the way it's going to work, it, uh, behind your Sledge key, your original key, is going to have a serial number. And they're going to ask you for that number so that they can send you a replacement cylinder so that you can replace it yourself. When you get your cylinder, it's going to look just like this and this is pretty much the piece that you're going to replace so to take them out what you do uh, there's gonna be a little hole right there as you can see and all you're gonna do you're going to press down with with something in there and it's this little spring and when you press down on it Let's see if I can take it off with one hand. You just kind of just jiggle it. There it is. And it comes out. And you're going to do the same one with the bottom one. The bottom one, you turn up. And there's, let's see, you can kind of see it. It's right there. You push it also down and you just yank it out. And that'll take off the handles. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to remove the plate. And pretty much what it is, it's just going to be two screws. There's one screw in the top and then uh, let's see if I can point it one screw in the bottom and they're Phillips uh, screws you just take them off and then all you do is just you just uh, grab the face and you just pop it out like that then once you have all that off there's going to be two screws on the inner side of the dead bolt and there are these two screws right here they're Phillips screws and all you're going to do pretty much you know with a screwdriver of course you're going to unscrew them just pull them out and then this piece right here should just slide out like that and then after that you're going to notice that you will be able to open it and what you're going to do is you're actually going to go ahead and you're going to take out the other two screws that are right here uh, the light's kind of bad. Um, right there on the on the door. And then, uh, let me just put this down real quick. To get it loose, what you're going to do, you're going to, to kind of turn it like you're going to open it. And what you're going to do, you're going to see that there's the pin right there holding it in, not letting it out. And all you're really going to do, you're going to twist, like kind of pull it out and just twist towards you, as you can see and just pull it out like that and that's it the part should come out and then the only thing that's holding the dead bolt in now is that screw right there so as soon as you remove that you will be able to just grab this and pull out the dead bolt all right so what i did was that i i just loosened up the screw enough so that i could actually just push the dead bolt through and there it is. That right there is the deadbolt that needs to be replaced with the one that they sent you. So pretty much what you're going to do, you're going to grab this little piece right here. You're going to um, pull it out because you're, you're going to want to use that piece again on, on the other deadbolt. So you're just going to kind of just push through. It should slide right off. Okay. And this deadbolt you're not going to use it anymore. All right, so here what's going on. Uh, you still need this piece right here of the of the previous deadbolt that doesn't work anymore. Uh, and you need to actually remove this cap that's here. And you're going to notice that it can't, like, you can't remove it. And the reason why, there's this little thing right there. And it's this little, little spring-loaded lock, pretty much. And what you do, you just grab something so that you can push it down. And then once you push it down, you can actually start twisting the cap off.
and then the cap's going to come off. Oh, sorry. Along with this piece right here, okay? And this piece. All right, now from the previous piece, from the, the previous uh, deadbolt that's wrong, you need, you, you need the, uh, this piece right here so that you can replace this piece that, that uh, oh, this piece right here that, that, that fell out. So you're gonna have to kind of pull it off and on the tabs, let me zoom out because this is just, it looks horrible. And on the tabs, there's gonna be some little tabs uh, in there. What you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to get like a small screwdriver or something that's flat and small. And you're gonna have to kind of pull the tabs out so that you can actually take it off like that, okay? And this is the piece that you need right here. All right, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna line up that, that washer with an open, it has an open space on it. As you can see, you're going to line it up, that open space, to where that little spring is at. Then you're going to put the, the, I guess, that back part of the deadbolt that you still need in. And then you're going to put this over that, okay? And what you're going to have to do, you're going to grab your little thing, whatever you're going to use to, to put the press the spring a little down a little bit and then you're going to start to slowly uh, screw it back in it's not going to be easy it's going to be kind of tricky there you go all right i got it in and now i just keep screwing it down there it is all right so there it is with that part put back in there um so now let's let's go ahead and put it back in the uh, in the door. All right. So I mean, we already put the piece in. So all you're gonna do now, I took the uh, the key out, and just make sure that it's facing up. This part right here is facing up because if you see the deadbolt, it actually has. It'll show you right there that that's pretty much how it has to look. So you kind of just uh, push it in there. There it is. So now all you have to do, you know, just make sure that it's kind of line, lined up there. And all you're going to do now is tighten that screw back up. All right. And there it is. All right. So once it's in there, you're going to put this uh, little piece back in and just uh, pretty much what you want to do if you put this piece in here the way that it has to turn is this way uh, I can't push it any further and if I turn it towards the right it'll drop right there so that would be my opening position and then that would be my closing position so you take it back out just make sure that it's doing that and then you put this little uh, rubber piece back in there and it's pretty much what kinda you know holds it in place and then you just kinda you know push it to the back and that's it. So now all you do now, you're going to grab, you know, the actual uh, piece that locks to the door. I'm going to push this back a little bit. And uh, remember how we took it off. So how you're going to put it back on is pretty much the same way. So you just kind of slide it in. And remember that the, uh, the locking mechanism is this. So you kind of slide it in. So now let's try it out. That right there, as you can see, is open, and that right there is closed. So cl uh, open, closed. So that's it. So all you do now, it's already set. So all you're gonna do right now is may, uh, you're gonna put your two screws uh, back in there. Okay. All right. So now you're gonna grab this piece, and pretty much what you're doing, you're matching up that straight line into that part right there and then this is going up in there so and 
there it is all right and now you add those two bolts that go in there so pretty much you know you just put them in and I'll actually skip to the next part all right so then what you do you just put the face back on and then you add the screws that you took off in the beginning all right so now the moment of truth uh, we went ahead and we replaced our, our cylinder so now let's see if it actually works so if it turns you know it'll pretty much lock right here there it is it's locked it's unlocked yep it's working well, that's it. Uh, it was as easy as that. I'm JJ, the tech guy, uh, and I hope that this video helps you fix your door.